All right, I have my new mini router all hooked up under power. Uh, let me show you some of the things going on here. I have the Soigeneers stepper covers, which are pretty nice. Uh, they use these XLR connectors, so it gives a nice, clean, finished uh, appearance to the wiring. As you can see, I have a DeWalt trim router uh, mounted on the Z-axis. I need an enclosure for my smooth stepper. It's just a USB smooth stepper and I have a Gecko G540 box here from Deep Groove 1. Um, so anyway, if we go here, let's see I can, uh, that's the x-axis. I'm currently jogging at 250 inches a minute and 50 inches per second squared acceleration. Here's the table. And the Z. I have approximately a 14 and a half by 8 by 4 work envelope. I have a job here on the screen. It's a uh, V-Carve program. Uh, let me go in. Here you can see this. I will have the uh, feed rate at 60 inches a minute. And uh, again, the rapids are 250 inches a minute max. So anyway, uh, these are Dana Her 200 inch ounce steppers. Uh, so at 250 inch a minute rapids, they spin at about they spin at a thousand inches, a uh, thousand RPM. 
they are capable of more, uh, only using a 48 volt power supply, but they can actually take a 72 volt power supply. Uh, these are half inch eight, two start lead screws. So that's four turns per inch. These are THK SHH SHS 15 rails and blocks. Uh, these couplers I got from McMaster Car. I think they're a Ruland brand. And uh, the machine is made out of surplus phenolic scrap parts laying around. And <clears throat> cut on my big machine. The big difference between this and my big machine is this is a moving table design, which keeps the gantry stationary and hopefully uh, makes for a more stiffer frame. But I do have a T-slot table I'm going to be mounting to this in the upcoming days, and hopefully we can uh, run it through its paces with some real jobs anyway. Thanks for looking, and I'll see you soon.